Welcome back to the Deviant Files. This is volume 2.0. What did you just say? The lingo in bowling is, is something that uh, professionally is really cool language that we speak. And so often I hear people talk about the different leaves and strikes in bowling, and they're very inaccurate of what's actually happened. Most commonly talked about is the 10 pin and how it's left. I hear it talk, called a stone 10 or a solid 10, and there really is no such thing. This here is a ringing 10. Notice how the six pin gets up and over the 10, flying by it. There's also a wrap 10 where the six pin stays a little bit lower and goes around the fat part of the 10. These are not solid. There's a reason for this. There's also a blower 10 or a weak 10 when the six pin stays flatter in the gutter. We call it the block 10 because it hits very splatty. It stays in the gutter and just doesn't have the oomph to get the 10 pin. We get that head pin to come off the wall sometimes come across and slow roll that messenger. Sometimes you get the ringing tin with a big bird dog help coming across. Here's a really cool looking one with a messenger with just nothing left to hit. Over the years, we've got different names for splits. This one's the Greek church. With the newer technology and the much stronger back ends, we've gotten some more creative leads. This is the F4. My good buddy, Brian Mert, just couldn't figure out a spare this one, so we called it the Merch Special. And here's the oh-so-common baby split. There's a lot of different vari variations of the washout. This is the 12410. Add the six pin in there, and you get the broken window or the PBA washout. This one gets left more and more often nowadays, and I think it should have a name. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. <laughs> Here's a little slightly light in the pocket. That's a shake of seven. A little bit high flush, a solid nine. Man, my good buddy Larry. The whiff. He loves that. The Brooklyn. The crossover. This one's high flush on the Brook side. This one's the runaway. It's just darting towards the seven. Pin. Catch five on the way by. We all hate losing to this one. The crumbler big four of the face cave in. Norm and I like to challenge each other to see who can get this one first, the Wally 457, made famous by Dick Weber himself. My favorite, split in the 8 9. We'll call this one the Chuga Special, courtesy of Jason Dalmani. He says that when I'm bowling good, I like to send that four pin across the deck. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. This is Volume 2.0. There will be more to come.